Well, hello everybody, and welcome to a new episode, Farthest Frontier, focused on patch 0.8.2 testing. We're going to talk about naming your village. Now, there are several factors that can make a name great, uh, depending on the context or purpose of this name. Here are a few key qualities that can contribute to a great name. It needs to be memorable. A great name should be easy to remember. It needs to have meaning. It should also be unique. It has to be great and it has to sound good. Now, I have come to the conclusion that there are two things of Farthest Frontier that are constant. Bears and wood. So I have geniusly combined both of those together to come up with the best name ever in all of Farthest Frontier history, Bearwood. Now, Bearwood is a quaint yet perilous medieval town located in the heart of the forest. It is known for the constant threat of bear attacks. The town's gruesome history of bear attacks has led many to question the wisdom of building a settlement in such a dangerous place. Now, because of the dangers faced by bears, we need to come up with five realistic ways to deal with bears. Number one, dress up like a bigger and scarier animal. Bears are easily intimidated. <laughs> All right, there, there's, um, there's no way. There's no way to intimidate a bear. You just gotta kill the bear. All right, you gotta kill the bear. All right, so for this build, we'll be playing on the hardest difficulty, as always, with lots of bears. Um, the low, we're gonna do Lowland Lakes. We've got our patented bear wood name. We're playing on the small map, and away we go. Now, there is no set design for this, though I will be pulling upon prior builds and past knowledge. I do plan on having this be a completely organic build. So we're playing on Lowland Lakes, which is relatively easy. Um, the fertilities are very high. They have... Ooh, that's interesting. We got ourselves a little land pass right there. I don't know if I necessarily like that. Um, lakes are awesome because you can build against them. And right there, look at that. We got clay, willow, and everything. Yeah, this is an absurdly, absurdly good location. We got wolves over there. Let's, let's take a look around, though. We want to look for any kind of resources we're going to want later game. This is nice over here because we've got two deer spawns. All the stuff that we need for early game. Another deer spawn right there. Looks like... Um, ooh, we could even... See this mountain tip right here? This is a small map. I can terraform this and block this area off, actually. So that raiders can't even come from this, um, this direction. So, ooh, yeah. And since the mountain's all right here... I can actually, yeah, this whole area right here, if I were to terraform it pretty easily, the only place I can be attacked from is actually all the way up here in the north. And it looks like I have another giant mountain and I have this lake. So we're actually going to be able to turn the, this area into a bottleneck. So I can really do this anywhere. If I'm playing smart, I want to keep this area kind of intact the way it is and it looks like i probably want to put my city more towards right about here so if i am going to have an area that can be attacked it's going to be this whole it's going to be this whole area right here okay but we can um actually move the town center now for gold so we don't have to really worry about placement so realistically we can we can do anything we want um so it's kind of cool to have la a lakeside village don't you think though so? so six 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 okay i'm uh plotting out residentials i think right about here is where i'm gonna place my town center but i'm just gonna do an organic growth in this i um i'll try to be forward thinking but thinking it would be kind of cool right um well hold on a second we always want to make, so a really good strategy early game is to put walls um, around your area. And another tip, this is your first time watching my, my video, for um, dirt roads, if you hold shift, it goes straight, no matter what you do. See, I can only do straight lines if I hold shift. If I'm not holding shift, it gets all curvy. So this is one of the biggest pet peeves when you're trying to map out a village early game. So that's a, a pro tip right there. But what I'm getting at here is I left enough spacing for walls. And the reason you want to do this is you're in the beginning of the game. A really good method for protecting your stuff is to put a trade center here and your um, your storage here. When the raiders attack, they go for your storage and your town center. So you don't have to have an entire wall in village. You can just wall in the things that are 
of strategic important. So that's why it's really vital to early game have a centralized area for your trade center and storage while you, like even before you have your first house down. Okay, so we're playing on the hardest difficulty. So two things, I'm gonna hit pause on this real quick. So you need to start thinking about food and then firewood. We have an awesome lake over there for fish and that's fantastic. I um, am probably gonna go with hunting for now. And we can move around these buildings later. So I'm going to build a hunter cabin here and here. And then the next building we want to get up is a... Excuse me? Is a firewood splitter. And I wouldn't need the firewood splitter because... The fourth building we want is a smoke shop. Now, early game, I make sure that I'm only harvesting trees. So you want to unselect everything. And you just want to make sure you're doing trees. Uh, you don't need a lot of stone in the beginning of the game. You just need enough stone for the smoker and your first well. You need about mm, 20, 30 stone. Um, typically, you're going to get that from building. As you can see here, I already um, have enough stone between the two things right here. So there's our stone. Um, so we're going to let them go. We're going to prioritize building of the town center. So it really doesn't matter. Once we get the food going, once we get all that going, our next objective is to move into housing. We want to get four houses up and the reason we want to get four houses up is there's a, a wave of immigrants that come and you have to have four houses to, to, to get them basically um if you and if you can get five houses up and you get the big wave it's a little hard to get uh, five houses up though so uh it really it really all depends on which what all you're doing okay we're gonna speed this up a bit all right The city of Bearwood. <laughs> Sorry, I almost forgot. My, uh, I broke. I broke the rule. <laughs> Memorable. No. All right. No, it's just. It's been a long day. Yeah. But uh, Bearwood is in full gear. It is the greatest town that has ever existed. No town before or after will come close to this glory. We could also do gatherers on a map like this. I. I typically haven't been using gatherers. I've been playing on. The hardest difficulties which don't have the abundance of uh produce i will however note i'm gonna pause the game real quick because this is actually a very very important thing to note um you only need a gatherer to get herbs and some of the nuts mushrooms and eggs these hawthorn plants can be gathered by free labor by just going down here to bushes on the harvest and highlighting oops no sorry not bushes Berries. Sorry, I forgot my own stuff. If you hold shift and and highlight, it will unhighlight. So that, I meant to do that. I meant to do that so I could show you that feature. Yes. Um. Anyway, sorry. Highlight the berries and then highlight. So now I don't have to dedicate someone to gathering early game, and I can just if anyone has free time, they um. So we can't gather the greens too. Sorry. But yeah, these berries and that's a good source of early uh, food throughout the game so um that that's kind of like what i do however i will have a gatherer later but typically with my gatherers is i hyper focus them on the, just the resources i want i don't tend to collect greens uh, i just think it's kind of a waste um there, there is easier ways to get food but you know if you if you need it do it all right so these guys are taking forever we're gonna up the builders to five All right, we got our town center up. We got the uh, the the ox that lives indefinitely in his and feeds off the souls of the dead. He just never dies. He's there forever. All right, and we're actually gonna prioritize the hunter cabin here first. Even though I guess I could have done this one. We're gonna put. Sorry, words not coming out of mouth easy today. We're going to prioritize both of the hunter cabins. Go. Gotta use that hooked on phonics. <laughs> I never, never hit hooked on phonics. <laughs> because that's why I can't talk. No, um, all right. So I believe that the deer were over here and we are going to explore that. All right, so we need to find the deer. Yeah, we had a couple deer spawns over here. I'm actually really, we're going to be able to terraform those corners like 
and like one year in game time, it's going to take nothing to do it. Um, that's why my last build, as I said, is actually like a bit overkill. And as you can see, we already have found a beautiful, beautiful deer. It looks like we can see deer running around over here too. So I'll send him over there. Send this guy over here. Now we got two deer. Our next objective is to get firewood. Always get your firewood splitter up before the smoker because the smoker doesn't work without firewood. So really no point to having that up first. All right. Now the next objective is to get housing. Now a strategy some people use is they pick an area that's forested because they will cut down the trees which they will need to build a house. That's smart. Um, you should do that. However, I kind of want my stuff predetermined right now. I'm going to tell them to cut down these trees. They have plenty of trees to cut down. So again, we are just going to speed up. I'm actually going to cancel this road. Um, because as you can see, they're trying to uh, cut rock. And I don't think I can... Okay. I, yeah, I didn't realize they would... Um, I didn't realize those rocks were there. And I don't want them focused on that right now. I want them focused over here. That's pretty cool. We got a really good early game source of rocks. Um, we got to remove these. So, yeah, some of the stuff is in instantly set to targeted. Okay, we got the firewood splitter. And we got this guy coming here soon. We're going to... Uh, we're already bumped up to times three. I don't know why it feels like it's gone so slow. And if I can get these five houses up before uh, before the end here, I'm going to get a really nice population pop. Heck, I might even try for six. So, um, but let's stay smart and let's prioritize the, uh, the closest ones right there first. And let's get the builders. No, builders are good. Let's get the builders up to six though, so that when we are ready, they are building very quickly. Beautiful. Yeah, I feel, I feel accomplished. And we got the deer coming in. And once we get the smoker up and once we get the firewood going, we're, we're in tip top shape. We're going to have food. We're going to have um, food for a while. So I would like to mention that it is really easy to feed your population in this game. In fact, you're probably overcomplicating it. You can feed up to 50 people with just this setup right here. This is the game setup. This is my StarCraft. <laughs> my Whatever you want to call it. Everyone has like the, the beginning strategy they use in any, you know, um, strategy game. This is it. Two hunters. Firewood splitter. In a smokehouse you can feed 50 people on that you don't need anything else you don't, literally don't need anything else you'll have a year's worth of meat as long as you have good access to the deer which i do um and typically i don't even do farming now i will mention though that it's really dangerous to not go into farming at a later point because spawns do move and things happen and if you don't have that food supply a lot of people die so while you can survive off just hunting, and a lot of people do it, it's advisable to do a 12 by six farm when you're about 30 to 40 people. Also because you do want uh, um, different types of food because they prevent disease and they give you the ability to, um, you know, just keep people happy. Oh, oh God, no. What are you? What are you? It's a wolf. Dang, dude, he murdered. He, he straight up murdered. All right, so I may have actually lost someone. I may have lost my first person. Um, I don't think that they're going to make it. Yeah, yeah, the wolf's, the wolf's gaining on him. And because I don't have a hospital, even though he did not die, I have nowhere to take him. So that's alarming. Uh, the wolves are coming from the mountain range over here, as we saw earlier in the game. And that means I'm probably going to want to get a tower over there as soon as I get some money. So my next, my next objective, after I get all this down, is to get the appropriate infrastructure down in order for me to do that. So I'm going to need a stockyard, which I'm going to put... Um, hmm, yeah. And I got all that... Sorry, all this, this stone is going to be a huge pain in the ass to move. I got a stockyard. Once the stockyard gets up, I'll get the storehouse up and I'll get my first sawmill. Saw pit. I call it the sawmill. And then once I get all those good things going for myself, I can get my market up. And I can get money and I can build a tower. And it looks like freaking my hunter. Oh, man. 
People be dying. People be dying. We got wolves on the prowl. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of micromanaging here and, and try to kill these wolves when, with my numbers. Um, the good thing is, is we get food. Alright, so I was able to get uh, four of the houses up, so I probably will get the first immigration bump. Uh, because I lost, if I hadn't lost those two people, I wouldn't have got the full immigration bump. I will, however, note, um, we don't have any firewood. Oh, gosh darn it. It's kind of RNG, too. So, I, they, they wanted a couple more buildings for the, for the immigration bump to come in. So that's kind of BS. Um, I better get them outside. Cutting firewood. I'm going to pop the hunter off. I'm actually even going to pop the firewood splitter off because we don't have wood. But I need everybody out here collecting wood. We're going to cancel this shelter. Alright, once we get our first wood. Alright, we got wood now. We'll get the dude in there. If people free, you know, and the thing about this game too is if people die, it's not that big of a deal. You get you, the immigration waves in this are, are pretty decent. Um, I am a little concerned though that the patch 8.2 is really buggy. I have no, I, I have no idea what kind of weird stuff I'm gonna run into. All right, we got 20 firewood. We're we're gonna survive. I was a little clutch there. I got I got distracted for sure. Okay. So let's get this down. Let's get all this stone. So now we have we're good. I mean we have our basic setup and we'll get some immigrants here at the beginning of the year. Um we'll get all of our storage and buildings we want to protect in this center location. We'll fence it in once we hit tier two. We are sailing pretty pretty good using this as my makeshift industrial quarter I'm probably gonna keep all of my my dudes over here um, cause it isn't I, I kind of want to the lakeside man this is a wide this is a wide map all right and we are getting kind of into that area where we have to start thinking put a basic well over here um, got plenty of trees to cut down. All right, cool. Yeah, we're, we're living the dream. And so we got um, four people. So if I would have had 10, I would have gone up to 14. That's why I said get four, get four houses up so you can get the maximum boost. Um, I, I, I I tried to RNG with the mega, the mega boost of immigrants, but uh, it had a building requirement, so I didn't get it. Sometimes it doesn't have that. It did. All right, we got a well. All right, we're we're doing pretty, doing pretty good. Oh man, okay, you can move graveyards now. So the cool thing about being able to move a gra graveyard is that I can really place this anywhere I want and not have to worry about it. So I'm gonna place it right down here, and I'll move it if I don't like it. Fantastic, because I always had to place my graveyard so far away so that it wouldn't inter because I didn't know what I wanted to build and I didn't want it to interfere. Yeah, you guys are freaking using up the wood. I told you, bears and woods, the two the two biggest pains in the ass of this game. The wolves aren't so bad. The wolves are manageable. I mean, I haven't even yeah, we haven't even begun begun to get into the annoying parts of this game. We're just getting attacked by bears. I'm gonna move him closer to the industrial area because they seem to be using this as storage. Cool, look at that. We got storage. All right, so now we can do two things. Get a root cellar up, which is totally awesome, and get a my first storehouse. Seems that, unfortunately, wood is still the biggest bottleneck, but 
There's plenty of wood. We need... We've got a good amount of laborers, so we're good. We just kind of have to let people do their thing, really. And there we go. Boom. Root cellar. All right, now so now our all meat will uh, store better. Once this is up, then we go for the saw pit. Oh, we already got... Yeah, we got the saw pit. I used to remember having to build the storehouse first. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if they changed that. Or if I just don't remember it correctly. Um, okay. Probably just don't remember it correctly. Alright, and then once that's up, we can do the market. However, for the market, we need 50 boards. So, right now, we just need people. I'm gonna build more housing. I'm actually gonna build quite a bit of housing. As I said, our food supply is way more sufficient than you realize. We're tremendously lucky here because we have deer right there. I just realized my music is off. Turn that bad boy on. Yeah. Listen to that music. We got violins going. Nothing, nothing sounds more like medieval village than a creepy dude watching you play while he plays the violin. I don't, I don't know. Shit. Well, look at that. We got wolves coming from all directions now. Okay. So the best thing to do here is to find your two hunters and group them up. The hunters are also your early game military. Um, so uh, sometimes I even have three hunters because, especially on the harder difficulties, three hunters will keep you keep you safe from from all the stuff that can get you. They're coming for you. Bears and the wolves. And we got 13 people. That's a scary amount of people to have. Got lots of fire. Over a year's worth of, of meat. It sounds like a really bad, like, gas station contest. Like, win one year's worth of beef jerky. My whole village is vibing off of a gas station game. Oh my gosh. Smoked jerky. Beef links. Alright. Two people is is a uh, is a good amount. We're we're actually over industrialized right now, if you will. I think we're probably gonna want to move the saw pits. The saw pits are actually the biggest desire, like have the biggest desirability um, decline of any building outside of the glassmaker. Um, so the the saw pit and uh, glassmaker you want to have pretty far away. Yeah. There we go. We're doing pretty good. Oh, got got some immigrants now. We got sixteen. People are coming in. They uh, they tweaked immigration rates, by the way. Uh, you actually get real huge waves of people with higher populations. So I'm already noticing it's pretty smooth. And we just need 50 boards. All right, let's do it. I'm just gonna have him pre-get the market up. Fifteen stone. We got four. All right. Well, they're gonna have to get to work. I'll have them get all of this stone, and I'll have them cut down all these trees. Six people. Yes, I will take you. Look at that. I'm already at twenty of twenty-eight. Now I have all these laborers who are about to start chopping trees, cutting stone. So I heard I have um, 
too too many trees selected, to be honest. That's the wrong that's the wrong one. More people. You wanna mark it, okay. Yeah, sorry, I selected way too many. I got a little, little tree happy. Alright, now that we have more people, however, I'm gonna bump that up to three people making boards. We get this cleaned out. Might actually be able to fit the uh reposition all this stuff, put the trader in here and slap up the defenses on this. We need to hit 30 people uh, to get to the next tier. Tier 2 is really easy to get to and it opens up a lot of really great things. But we'll get into that when we get there. Look at that, we got a graveyard. Beautiful graveyard. Got our... Uh... This is a cool map. Right, what I gotta do is get down here and uh, block that off with terraforming. Once I do that, then there's only to be one direction. Man, these these wolves are freaking bold. I think what I'll probably do is end up putting a tower right here. Um, that will give protection to this inner area where the wolves are coming, but it'll also keep the wolves over here at bay. Yeah, look at the fertility over here. 73, 52. Oh, wow. Pretty good. 